All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Much peace and mercy to the hopeful elect. So, this is going to be a quick video. Bahashakwadash. Currently on my little lunch break. And um, I came across this, this video a few days ago. Uh, I'm not going to be able to go into the entire, uh, you know, video, but for the most part, this man here, as you can see, this this man, he, he looks bugged out because he is. He uh, He's saying that, um, you know, the so-called Negroes that were enslaved here in the Americas did not come from the West Coast of Africa. And that's false. You know, because different history and, and relics and, and, and all of the different things that, um, you know, the accounts, you even have uh, generational stories passed down from, fam you know, family families that, that tell you, yeah, this is where we came from. This is what happened, et cetera, et cetera. But also it was prophecy. It was prophesied that from the time of 70 AD, you know, Yahushai said what? Go ye up into the mountains, you know, to basically flee from Jerusalem because it was about to be destroyed. And in a majority of Jake's, what they spread out, you had some go to East Coast, some went to West, some went into Africa, right? That was that great uh, diaspora, you see? So when the when the Israelites who fled into the west coast of Africa were persecuted shackled and chained up they were sent over here on slave ships so I'm gonna let this play just a couple minutes and um let me grab a precept or two and then we're gonna end it so for right here he says this is not economically sound but it's prophetically sound. You see? It was prophesied. And I'm just going to go grab it now. Because I quoted it twice. Deuteronomy. Chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord Yahweh. That's the Heavenly Father's name. When you see Lord in all caps. When you go into the Hebrew. It's Yahweh. And the Lord Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt. Egypt. When you go to Exodus 20, it said that the Lord had brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So bondage is uh, Egypt is also um, represented as, as a, a bondage that will bring you into Egypt again with ships. By the way, whereof I spake unto you or unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. What will we not see again? We won't see the land. We haven't been back to Israel as a sovereign nation. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. You see, so this is a prophecy from the curses. Deuteronomy 28 chapter, when you read the entire chapter, you have uh, 14 blessings. And, and after the 15th verse, you have uh, a, a numerable amount of a, a numerable, not innumerable, a numerable amount of curses. You see. And this last curse was going into bondage or slavery on slave ships. And and it does. People were already here. You had the natives. You had the Gadites, the Reubenites. Uh, you had some um, of the other tribes as well mixed in, but. This was um, a, a part of prophecy that, that, that we would go into captivity again, man. You see? Because over here, this, this, this place was, was uh, set up in, through prophecy to be built up and to be the hub of wickedness and, and ultimately allotted for destruction. You see? So but they, it had to be built. And what? The Lord used us to build it up. But he's going to throw it down, man. That half of your stock is going to die? <laughs> you wouldn't do that. So how many people do you think were brought over from Africa on slave ships? Because that doesn't 
See, and, and the thing is, he keeps going back to the natives. He keeps going back, and really, it's the tribes. You see? Yes, there were tribes here, but there were also another, a different tribe. You had the southern kingdom that came over here on those slave ships, man. I'm talking about, I don't believe that story. It's the truth. You can just look at this man and tell he's bugged out. And and there you go. There you go. He said history is his story. What about my story? It's not about you, man. This is not about you. You're irrelevant. The scriptures say when you go to Isaiah. Jump here real quick. This one's a little quicker. Isaiah chapter 46 in verse uh, verse 9 uh, <clears throat> remember the former things of old for I am the most high and there is none else I am power and there is none like me declaring the end from the beginning you see and from ancient times the things that are not yet done and at that time when we were over there in the, in the, in the holy land it wasn't done that we were brought into, into into slavery with slave ships man but that prophecy had came to pass and from ancient times the things that are not yet done saying my counsel shall stand and I will do all my pleasure so this isn't about you man this is about the heavenly father's will Yahweh Shai he said this is how ye shall pray you know our father which art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done not your will you see, so the Heavenly Father, he set it up for us to be enslaved under this man. Um, there was another precept that came to mind. Uh, oh, yeah. Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way. And uh, actually, yeah, 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 this is it. Let the wicked forsake. I'm going to start up. Verse 6. Seek ye the Lord, Yahweh, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Let the... The, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon so you got to forsake your own thoughts man why verse 8 for my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your ways my ways saith the Lord Yahweh so your ways and your story the, the, what you think what you feel, all those things don't matter, man. The only thing that matters is what the Lord said. You see, because when 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 you got these people out here who just think they got it, wow, well, I got the answers, I got the keys, but you don't. You know, apostles uh, they brought that out a few weeks ago, like maybe a few a few months back. Um, you know, starting with the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, man, we have the keys, man. Yahweh Shai gave. The, the, the prophets, the keys We have the understanding He has unlocked This truth and this knowledge Unto, unto elect men You know, Lord willing we be elected For uh, deliverance You see, but You can't say that The mass Slavery Of, of the, uh, the tribe of Judah Benjamin and Levi And, 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 and being shipped over here on slave ships didn't happen because you don't believe it. The scriptures say, what if some did not believe? You know, Romans 3 and 3. So that make the faith of the most high of none effect? No. Yahweh forbid. So just because you think that this isn't uh what the true history is, is is irrelevant, man. Let me get a little bit more. Is my story not valid? But if you do talk about 
It's not. Just look at this man. And just look at him, bro. <laughs> the dude is bugged out, man. Eyes wide open. <laughs> like, come on, man. And then you got people who will hear this. You know, you, you see the little comment right here. Facts. You see? Uh, look at these comments, too. You know, I was reading some of them. Talking about Masa Musa. And, you know? Look at his, <laughs> his eyes. You know? Mm hmm. <laughs> Everybody's commenting on his eyes, man, because this dude is bugged out. You know? It says, why would the elites that fund public education tell us the truth? They wouldn't. And then you got goofy, goofy ass women that believe this shit. Goofy men, too. You know? And then there you go. There you go with the whole DNA samples. We don't need DNA samples, man. You know, we don't need that. We got the Holy Spirit. Scriptures say that the, the spirit bears witness with our spirit that, that we are the sons of the most high. We don't need no damn DNA test. What are you, what are you talking about? So you want to trust the devil. You want to trust the man who you just said conquered this, this, this land over here with the natives and made them prisoners, uh, uh, prisoners of war, POWs. Right. You want to trust his DNA test or use that as a, a means of uh, understanding what the hell happened to our people on this side. Or, or you know, what I'm saying that, that Jake is through, man. See, look, and I'm going to just end it there, man, because the scripture said that the Lord will bring you into Egypt again. We didn't bring ourselves over here, man. The Heavenly Father did this, you see? But guess what? Even though the Heavenly Father brought us into captivity again, with uh, into Egypt again with ships, the Heavenly Father is going to also deliver us again with ships. But he's going to deliver us with those with those spiritual ships, those chariots, you know? The scripture say, uh, Matthew 24... And I think it's like 31. Let's see here. Yep. Matthew 24 and 31. And he shall send his angels with a with a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds from one end of, of heaven to the other. So the Heavenly Father, even though he, he put us into captivity with those ships, he's going to gather us again with, 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 with ships, man. And Lord willing, you know, we be of the elect to receive that salvation. But you got a lot of bug outs. You know, trying to um, discredit the history. Because if you if you say that we didn't come over here with, with slave sheep, you call the Heavenly Father a liar, man. You see? And the Heavenly Father does not lie. As it is written. You know, he is not a man that he should lie, neither a son of man that he should repent. So at the end of the day, man, if you ain't got this word, you ain't got this spirit, you ain't, hey, you ain't, you ain't about nothing. Grab that real quick. Isaiah chapter 8 verse 20 To the law to the testimony If they speak not according to this word It is because they uh, Because there is no light in them So you ain't got no light man You ain't got Yahweh Shai Yahweh Shai is the light As it is written uh, You go to Matthew uh, 5th chapter verse 14 It says that we are the light of the, uh, of, the, of the world You know But we only get that light from Yahweh Shai so, Lord willing, this was edifying and faith boosting. I got to go ahead and get back going to the plantation. Um, hey, if the spirit hit me to, to go back into this, you know, I'll dive a little bit deeper. But um, until next time, shalom.